I Believe series from the St. Jude Apostle Yaba, season 8, I Believe in the Holy Spirit. You are welcome to the seventh episode, Symbols of the Holy Spirit. My dear friend, how was your Pentecost experience? Mine was awesome. And those who participated at the just concluded St. Jude Apostolate Pentecost Novena in St. Dominic Yaba, they testified that their own experience was awesome. In this episode, we talk of the symbols of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the soul of the Christian life. And as the soul is hidden, the Holy Spirit is invisible. But we know Him through His effects, through His activities. And so, we have so many symbols to talk about the Holy Spirit. Namely, water, anointing, fire, cloud, finger, hand, dove, etc. And this episode will talk of water and anointing. To the first, water. Water signifies birth and fruitfulness. And in talking of the Holy Spirit, water signifies regeneration. You must be born of water and the Spirit for you to have life, life eternal. And so, at baptism, water is used. We are baptized into the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are adopted as children of God. Water. Jesus, talking of the Holy Spirit, refers to him as living water, which flows from within the person who has believed in Jesus, the person who has received the Holy Spirit. Living water does not admit of any stagnation. It does not admit of any impurity. And so if you have received the Holy Spirit, as I believe you have, then stagnation, impurity, should not be found in your life. Water is a symbol of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Secondly, anointing. You recall in the scripture, the Spirit of God has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. Also, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verse 38, we are told that the Spirit of God anointed Jesus and he went about doing good. What does this tell us? It is not enough to have the Spirit dwell in us that there won't be stagnation or impurity. We must do something. The Spirit empowers us through his anointing to go about doing good, to go about living authentic Christian life. At baptism, oil is used, oil of chrism, to anoint us. But today, some people abuse oil. They bring oil, they sprinkle it in their shops, they sprinkle oil in their houses. Oil is not meant for sprinkling. Water, holy water is meant for sprinkling. Oil is for anointing. We have been anointed by the Holy Spirit. Do we go about doing good? You, as a Christian who has received the Holy Spirit, who is anointed, do you go about doing good? Next episode, we shall talk about the third symbol of the Holy Spirit, fire. Uh -huh. I know you want to hear something about that. Holy Ghost, fire. Okay, next episode, catch up with us.